Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA Car Kits in a 2015 BMW 3 Series and we're going to show you how to install our CarPlay module onto it. As you can see it's already installed and you can control it through your original iDrive. It's paired right now to our iPhone wirelessly. You will not lose any functions of your original system and if you want to use your original system you just hold the back button and it will switch to your original BMW system. Also, if you put the car in reverse and you have the original rear view camera, it will still work. So now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install it in your BMW. So the tools that you're gonna need is a T20 screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, panel removal tool, also gonna be using our hook tool, 10 millimeter socket with an extension, and also another T20, that way we can make it shorter, and also a T30. So first we're gonna start with our panel removal tool and we're gonna remove this uh, center trim piece. And we're gonna start closer to the passenger and we're gonna get our tool underneath here. And we're gonna go clip by clip. And you can use your hands and slowly work your way towards the driver. Once you remove it, there's two connectors here that you have to remove. The first one you can remove by just pulling on it. It doesn't have a clip that you need to press. The second one is right here and it's very hard to reach. So we're going to pop out the switch. We're going to use our finger from behind. and pull it out and underneath here there's a clip. Once you clip it, then you can remove it. And that way you can maneuver the cable out. Again, with our panel removal tool, we're going to get in here and pop this panel down. Here there's a light which we're also going to remove. So we're going to tilt the clip, this clip, and the light just slides out. Now we're going to use our T20 and remove six bolts. So there's two here, two more here, and there's two holding the screen. Now we can remove this control panel. So we're just gonna grab it and slowly take it out. Underneath here, there's a connector, pull it out. There's no clip that you need to press. Now underneath here, there's another four screws holding the radio. So now we're gonna remove the radio and uh, we're gonna suggest to use uh, some type of microfiber towel. We're gonna put it underneath here. So that way we can rest the radio on it and nothing will get scratched. So you just grab the radio, and pull it out. We're gonna flip it on its side. And first thing that we're gonna disconnect is this uh, main harness to the radio. So you unclip the harness and pull it out. So now we're gonna take our screen. We're gonna carefully maneuver it upwards. Once you have it out, we're just gonna carefully rotate it. And here you're gonna see a connection which we have to disconnect by pressing this clip on the side. And to kind of give us leverage, we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver to kind of pry it underneath. So now we can carefully put the screen away. Now we're gonna take this, this wire, which was connected to the screen from underneath. We're gonna pull it out as this is uh, the wire that is gonna connect to our module. So with our module, you're gonna get uh, these two video cables, which look similar to the original ones. The one that has one straight end and one on the, on the side. And then there's the one that has a straight end and the one with the female end on the other. So the one with the female end, we're gonna connect to the original one that we just disconnected from the screen. I'm just gonna line it up. This flat end will go into our module. This cable, uh, we're gonna go and feed towards our screen. And so it's a good idea to kind of feed it from the passenger side because we're gonna be hiding our module behind the glove box. Feed it through and bring it on top. And at this point, we can take our original screen. And as you can see, when we remove the original screen, these clips also came out. So if it happens to you, just take this metal clip, the clips and put them back so that way the screen will sit nice and snug. So I'm going to take our connection and just clip it in and put the screen back. And now we have these uh, two video connections, video cables, which we're going to connect to our module. So now we're going to show you how to remove the glove box. 
because we're going to be hiding the module in this uh, cavity right here as there's no space behind the radio. So to remove the glove box, first thing you're going to do is you're going to open it and here you're going to see four bolts underneath. So there's one, two, three and four and they're all T20. This is why we're going to use this uh, ratchet with a shorter T20 adapter. That way you can fit in here because if you would use your screwdriver there's no space. So we first remove the four uh, bolts right here and then there's one more bolt from the top holding it. So to, to get to the one that is hidden, it's hidden behind this panel. In order to remove this panel, we're gonna pull down the weather stripping. We're gonna take our panel removal tool, pop this panel off. So with the panel removed, you're gonna see here, there's a T20 and we're gonna remove it. And it looks like this. And as you can see, this one is different from all the other ones we removed. So now we're gonna start removing the things that hold the glove box underneath. So first you're gonna remove the two 10 millimeter nuts under uh, the glove box that hold the plastic tray. So that, that was one and here's the other one. And we're gonna use our 10 millimeter with an extension. So now we're gonna grab this panel under the glove box and pull it down and there's one connection for the footwell light which you just grab and pull on and remove. So now we're gonna take our T30 and we're gonna remove two bolts that hold the airbag. So there's one right here and there's one on the other side and we're removing the airbag. We're not disconnecting it, we're just gonna drop it because it hides two bolts which hold the glove box. So it's a good idea to kind of hold the airbag with your hand so it doesn't drop as soon as you remove the bolt. So we're gonna take our airbag and there's enough slack in the wire to just rest the airbag right there. So now there's four bolts underneath the glove box. So there is one, here's the second, and towards the driver there is one more on the metal bracket and one right there in the corner. So now we're gonna drop the glove box, we're gonna open it and carefully pull it down. We can disconnect these connections because we don't want the glove box to be kind of hanging on them. And now as you can see we have space here to run our wires. So first two wires which we're gonna feed here are the video cables. So you gotta make sure that when you're feeding them that they go behind the metal bracket so that way they're not in the way of the radio when you're putting it back. So the, we're gonna grab our module. So the wire that goes from the back of the stereo will uh, plug into the LCD in uh, port of the module. And the one that is going straight up to the monitor will be LCD out. So first thing we're gonna do is grab the original harness. And as you can see, this car has the fiber optic cable for the audio. And we have to transfer it to our harness. We're gonna take our hook tool and here's a little clip which you have to lift up and that way you can remove this fiber optic cable. Now we're gonna take our harness and right away transfer this cable onto it. So it has to go to the outer. I'm gonna make sure that the, the one that has the clip is sticking up and we're just gonna clip it in. On the other end we're gonna plug in with the original so you gotta make sure that the, the lock is open and once you have it semi in, that's when you can click it inside. Now we're gonna take the one that goes to the stereo, same thing, the one, it has to be open. Once you have it about halfway, that's when you can actually take the lock and lock it. This is the connection for our harness that will plug into the module. So we're gonna take our harness and we're gonna feed it from the opening here and connect it. The other end will plug in to the module, into the power labeled port. Next, we're gonna take our auxiliary cable and on one side you're gonna see there's audio out. So we're gonna plug it in. Then we're gonna feed the wire again to the back of the stereo. And on this end, it's gonna stay, say audio in. So we're gonna plug it in there. So next we're gonna uh, install this uh, USB connection which you can connect to the module by the, the wire if you wanna do 
Apple CarPlay, but not wireless. There's a hole here, uh, closer to the passenger door, which you can use to feed the USB connection, plug it into the module to the CPU-USB port. We're also gonna take our Wi-Fi antenna and connect it to the module. And so the last thing is the microphone. So the microphone is used to control Siri or Google Assistant if you're using Android Auto. You can choose to wire it into the glove box, but it's not gonna catch as well. So we're also gonna show you how to wire it to the driver's side A pillar right there. If you're not really using Siri, you can keep it in the glove box because the original microphone for this car is gonna be still used for Bluetooth phone calls and so on. So here on the driver's side, you're gonna pull down the weather stripping. Next, we're gonna take our panel removal tool, remove this panel. Also gonna use our panel removal tool to get underneath here and it just unclips uh, the A-pillar. Now we're gonna take our microphone and we gotta make sure to feed it behind the airbag. We're gonna grab it and pull it all the way through. Once you have it pulled through, at this point you can clip the A-pillar back. Make sure you choose the position of the microphone you would like. So we're gonna place it closer to the windshield. Now we're gonna hide the wire under the weather stripping. So here we're gonna drop the connection behind and again we're gonna pull it through and now we have to get this wire to the back of the stereo and behind the glove box so we're gonna use our metal rod and first we're just gonna insert the rod and our goal is to catch it behind the stereo so right here I have it on the other side so we're gonna take our microphone connection and we're gonna tape it to the metal rod and now we can pull it through. So carefully don't pull it too hard. And as you can see, we have it here. Once you have the cable on the inside, at this point we can put the panel back and the weather stripping back. And now we're gonna do what we did with all the other cables, uh, bring the microphone towards the module and we're gonna plug it into the microphone port right here. At this point, once we have all the connections done, uh, you can use some cable ties in order to shorten the wires. You can see these are quite long, so we're gonna make it nice and neat. So here, also make note that there's the dip switches for the module are here, and you have to set them correctly according to your particular car and the screen size, and if you have the original rear camera or not. We're gonna now take the module, hide it behind here, and once you make sure that there's no wires in the way, we can start putting the glove box back. You can see here this uh, plastic edge has to line up with that metal edge right there. Same with the other side. You have this plastic edge and it has to line up with that metal one right there. Don't forget to connect to make all the connections. So now we're gonna make sure that underneath it lines up like we said. Put the radio back and you just gotta maneuver the wires around. So this connection which we disconnected from the light, you gotta make sure that it's out. You don't wanna have these connections behind the stereo because you need to reconnect them. So we're gonna slide the radio back in. Once you have the radio and the glove box in its position and the module is hidden, we're gonna make sure to test everything before we put all the bolts back. So first we're gonna put four bolts underneath the glove box. So now we're gonna put the airbag back. So when you're putting it back, the end which has the two bolts sticking out has to be closer to the front of the car. So this way, now we're gonna take our two T30 bolts, we're gonna put them in. And before tightening, make sure you do both sides. And now we're gonna go ahead and tighten them. So now we're gonna take this panel, connect the light, put it back in. So you gotta make sure that the holes line up with the bolts that are sticking out. And then you're gonna clip the panel in. Also here, you gotta make sure that it goes behind and it's not sticking out. So now we're gonna take our uh, 10 millimeter nuts and screw them back in place. Now we're gonna take our T20, the silver bolt, and we're gonna screw it back in. We're gonna take our plastic panel here pull back the weather stripping 
clip it back in and now you can put the weather stripping back. So now we're gonna take our four T20s and we're gonna screw them back into place. There's four of them holding the glove box from the top. So now we're gonna be putting the bolts that hold the radio on the screen back in. So just so I make note that the two bolts that hold the screen, they're a little different. Uh, they have a bigger thread and they have a little different hat with the rotating part. Put those two back. Now we're gonna take four 20s and we're gonna put the ones that hold the radio back. So now we're gonna put the control panel back. We're gonna make sure to do this connection here. And now we're gonna put the four bolts back. So we're gonna take this cover and we're gonna plug in the light back. The bottom goes in first. And then it just clips in. So now we're gonna take our uh, trim piece with vents and when you're putting it back, you gotta make sure that there's no wires in the way. Like for example, this one is in the way. So you would just hide it under the, uh, these vents. We're gonna take this wire, the one that was connected to our switch, and we're gonna pull that one through. Once you have it through, we're gonna take our switch. We're gonna connect it. We're gonna put the switch back. And then there's one more connection. I'm gonna put the trim piece back. So you start closer to the driver. And here, you can open the door. And it's all back in place. So we assembled everything and we're gonna test the system for the final time. We have our lightning connection plugged into the USB which we wired before. We're gonna connect it to our iPhone we're gonna turn on the car. As you can see, it launched the uh, CarPlay right away. So for the sound to play through the speakers, you gotta make sure to go, uh, we're gonna press the back button in order to come back to the original system. For media, we're gonna go ahead and choose auxiliary. Now we're gonna press the back button again and go back to CarPlay and tested so we're gonna press the song so as, you, as you can hear it's playing and we can control it with our iDrive controller so once you tested everything the installation is complete so again this was a video for GTA car kits I hope you liked it and we'll see you next time